Hey guys, thanks for having me. Yeah, so your three All minutes right. are now. Yeah, so my name is Martins. I'm a co-founder of company Abilio, and we have developed payments gateway for the gig economy. The way we work is undergoing a transformation. More and more people are choosing flexible work hours over traditional jobs and taking on additional part-time jobs to earn extra. And pandemic is uh, unfortunately facilitating this change. Companies, on the other hand, are outsourcing their non-central tasks to contract free freelancers to cut overhead costs. So there's estimated 1 billion free freelancers around the world, and they share one common problem. A flexible work needs flexible payroll, but getting paid as a freelancer means that you have to deal with tax calculation, revenue service, paperwork, and formalities. If you do it wrong, you can run into problems. If you're a digital nomad, there's a risk you can you won't be able to understand local laws and regulations. That's why we have created a solution, company as a service combined with a digital platform. With Abilio, freelancers can invoice their cross-border customers and receive payouts while we take care of taxes, accountancy, and running a company. We launched our solution in Latvia in April of this year. So far, we have more than 500 users. 500 companies have paid their invoices. And we have 40% month over month growth in processed invoice volume. Average invoice value is 700 euros and the most popular services are uh, video production, IT and software development and design. Mostly we onboard our new users through mouth to mouth referrals and in partnership with freelancer marketplaces. Our users can register and under undergo KYC in 15 minutes, uh, send their first invoice, from anywhere in the world and withdraw money to their personal bank account. While we take care of running a company, accountancy, and we plan even uh, to offer even more services, for example, faster access to funds through invoice factoring. Our current uh, revenue stream is service fee for processed payments, and we plan on adding new revenue streams uh, like uh, deducted uh, business expense deduction and marketplace. The market we want to address is 32 million people living in EU, uh, freelancers, uh, with the transaction volume of 5 billion annually. And we are raising a pre-seed round of 300k to enter new markets in Europe and develop new features which are on our roadmap. First, we are looking at Poland, Greece and Germany, where we want to replicate and localize our existing solution. We are three founders with more than 10 years experience in taxes, legal frameworks, marketing, PR, uh, web and e-commerce platform development. And we are a bootstrapped company and the company is uh, owned by equally by us three. We, uh, we have a positive feedback on, from our users on Google reviews. And uh, if you like what you see, please reach out to us. Thank you very much. You're perfectly on time. Now let's have some questions. Thank you. Yeah, quickly want to jump in. Um, the 500 users or so you mentioned, what, what does the profile look like? Um, if you can give me a bit of an idea. Who are the yeah. early adopters for the platform? Designers, uh, the production company freelancers, people who, who work for uh, ad shoots, for video shoots. So a lot of video guys, video production guys, and IT developers, software developers. Where, where do you see the biggest inbound right now? Is it um, through word of mouth or is it actually through these these platforms where aggregate sort of freelances? It's mouth to mouth marketing mostly. Uh, we try Google ads, Facebook ads. Um, actually, they don't work uh, because people don't trust new platforms, especially when it comes yeah. to payments. So uh, referrals work best. We have a built-in referral program. Uh, refer a friend, earn 15 euros. So it also works well. Interesting. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the for the pitch. I, I also really like it. Uh, I'm I'm also interested a, a bit in you know how you attract these um, people because, because you said you have partnerships with freelancer marketplaces. Yeah. Where I'm wondering a bit. You know, isn't that? I mean, you're taking a percentage of of the payout. You know, the, of the pay that they get. I, I assume that the freelancer marketplaces also do the same. Isn't that actually a bit of a competition that you have? No. Uh, well, freelancer marketplaces don't have payment systems in place, um, at least in Latvia. So uh, they are very happy to provide our service to their freelancers just uh, based on a referral link. 
So mm -hmm. they earn 15 euros for, for each new subscriber. Uh, but that's not the biggest uh, drive of uh, inbound. Uh, I, I would say that mouth-to-mouth um, -mouth referrals is, works mostly. Okay, okay. And I, I mean, you said that, you know, it, it's working in Latvia. How, how's it in the other, in the rest of Europe, for example? I mean, do you have some competition? I don't know yeah. much about the There market. is competition. There is a company called Xolo in Estonia. They have a pretty similar service. And they have... A, 70k users from 130 countries but the market is big uh, so we don't see problem to coexist mm -hmm. there are some niche companies in each country uh, i know there's even neo banks targeting freelancers uh, in uh, in asia and usa and um, there are companies helping just with taxes just with accountancy our goal is to take care of everything so you can just receive money to your private bank account mm -hmm. and uh, our goal is actually to become a neo bank for freelancers yeah, I like the term company as a service that you use them. That, that's yeah, very... that's that's pretty new. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, do you have any more questions maybe? Or if not, maybe Martin, you will tell us something interesting about your company. You still have some time left, like a minute, one, one minute. Sure, sure. Yeah, we got accepted to MasterCard Lighthouse program. Uh, which actually gives us a lot of connections with banks, banks, uh, MasterCard and MasterCard payments. So we're looking to integrate a lot of automations uh, through open banking and uh, looking to offer some banking as a service solutions to our clients as well. And uh, one more thing I would like to add, um, we get a couple of more ideas to uh, offer to freelancers. They have bad credit scoring because they have irregular income and uh, that's one thing we want to solve. Another one is they don't need uh, to ensure they work uh, full time, but they can ensure only for the part time. So flexible work needs flexible solutions. So there's a lot of uh, products we want to build on top of this. That's really interesting. It makes a lot of sense. Huh? Thanks a lot. So this was, thank you, thank you very much for your pitch. Uh, this was uh, the last startup in the slot and we literally have a couple of minutes left. Um, maybe our judges